Has Pep Guardiola's era at Manchester City really ended? Four consecutive defeats in all competitions, and for the first time in 17 years, Pep is struggling like this. Today, we're going to reveal what are the six problems Guardiola needs to fix to stop this downward spiral? Defensive failures. The first obvious problem is the defense, which has been worse than ever. City have conceded 10 goals in the last four matches, and that's not normal for a team with such a strong defense. It's not just bad luck, but a lack of coordination and focus among the players. Guardiola needs to quickly find a way to reorganize the defense, especially with the growing number of injuries. Loss of control in matches. The second problem is the loss of control in matches, which became glaringly obvious in the last four games. Guardiola was always known for making his team dominate every aspect of the game, but lately, City has struggled to impose their style. The team has looked like passive spectators in matches, and Pep seems unable to find quick solutions. Injury crisis. Thirdly, injuries. It's not just the defenders who are missing. Even Doku, the new attacking winger is injured. The problem is that City is now struggling with squad depth, and every injury puts more pressure on the remaining players. Guardiola needs to manage his squad smarter to reduce the burden on his fit players. Lack of attack. The fourth problem is the lack of attacking threat. After Holland's departure, Manchester City can't seem to get their attack back on track. Despite having top players like De Bruyne, the attack hasn't been as cohesive. Guardiola needs to find a way to integrate the new players into the attack more quickly. Crisis of confidence. The fifth issue is the crisis of confidence within the team. It's obvious that the players are lacking self-belief, especially after consecutive losses. This kind of psychological collapse could be worse than any defeat, because confidence is the foundation of any team. Guardiola needs to work on rebuilding the team's morale, which is going to be the toughest task in the coming period. Overcomplicated tactics. Finally, overcomplicated tactics. Guardiola is known for his love of innovation, but sometimes he gets too carried away with experimentation. Constantly switching formations and overloading players with tasks has led to confusion. Guardiola needs to stick to a more stable lineup with minimal tactical changes that benefit the team, not confuse them. Will Pep Guardiola come back with fresh ideas? Will Manchester City return to their former dominance? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and whether you're optimistic about the team's comeback or think the pressure will break City. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to stay updated on Manchester City and global football news.